You're not going yet. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this is my second van tour in a day. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I told you I'm going to get you. The place no, I want it. I want it while it's mucky and filthy right. and used and. <laughs> right, hang on then. And with the patron's clothes all over the floor. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Furry's gonna get you. So this is Jane and Graham, and they are woolly cod wanderers. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Van Fanny. <laughs> <laughs> Fanny the van. Hello, She's still Van's not Fanny. finished though. Let me just move out, love. What model Merck's this, Graham? <laughs> it's uh, 12, 12 plate. Hello, Van The Fanny. long wheelbase. Long wheelbase, yeah. Merck, Sprinter. She's uh, got oh, full service history and she had, she had uh, 112,000 on her when we got her. She hasn't done that many miles because she's been on the drive. We've got less on ours. <laughs> Come on then, give, the give us the a tour. All right. Give us the guided. All right. Well, welcome to the van. We've got um, L-shaped seat in here, uh, and this one, <laughs> this seat here, well, I probably can't because of the dogs there. This actually pulls out, so allows this to move forward and that to drop back, so we can create a double bed here. Yeah. Then you've got your single bed along there. We're still trying to finish it off, so the curtains aren't properly fixed in place yet. But uh, as you say, we've got all our cupboard storage above, so you've got you know plenty of cupboard space along there. It's filled with all junk though, because it's not it's not in its prime for you. Oh, junk to food! This. Junk food, yeah. <laughs> so then we've got our pots along there, cups in there. Then we have uh, just a little sink, which is full of pots as well. <laughs> Make sure we get them in. So as I say, got that there, then we've got the uh, 12 volt compressor fridge. Um, we hummed and hard whether to get it because of the cost of them, but it's well worth it, it hardly uses any power at all. And then we've got obviously our pan cupboard down in the bottom there. A little uh, storage cupboard there which we've incorporated the bin, which is full again. <laughs> and then on uh, this side, as I say, just put that little rack up, but it works perfect for your tea, coffee and sugar. You've got to have that cloth oh, by cloth oh, yeah. don't you? Yeah. yeah. And then we've got just the two ring gas hob. Uh, and it does for our needs, because we usually like to try and eat in the pub as much as possible. <laughs> <laughs> and then this here is just um, what we call our service hatch. So if you need to get at the ins and outs of inside All of right, there. Yeah, yeah. So that's just to be able to do that. It's not a storage in any way then we have the large cupboard down there but this is where my gas pipes come so I box them in mm -hmm. so they don't accidentally get knocked at all yeah along that side there and then as I say just these couple of drawers fitted into here the cutlery and cutlery and me mess around drawer and then your bits and bobs drawer every, every man needs a bits oh, and bobs drawer oh we all need a bits and bobs drawer and, and a bottle opener oh yes for courtesy of uh, Dave Bertolini and then obviously that's our pantry area, but it's Dave like... Bertolini? Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, Van Dad. <laughs> and then this little cupboard here opens up, so we've got our fire extinguisher, and mm -hmm. in the, that's where the solar panel comes through in there. Right. Uh, and then the bottom's just uh, basically your junk drawer. Yep. Um, and you've got 240 in here as well, yeah, haven't you? We've yep. got 240 there, yep. your, your double USB, mm -hmm. uh, and then that's your inverter switch there. We've then got solar panel which comes in on here. It's, uh, we've got a Photonic Universe 150 solar panel, mm -hmm. uh, and so that's up there. And we've got this little shelf on there. Yeah. Then we've got your centre lights which come through the middle there. And then on this one, <laughs> We've got, again, <laughs> creative genius. That yes, was. that was that. Actually. I was watching that movement was excellent. So we've got 240 plug again. Then we've yep. got a cigarette lighter. But well, that just tells you what your battery is and what the temperature is ah, in here. Right. Oh, we could do with one of them. Yeah. And then we've got your lights that run along underneath there. So we've got those that run through there. And then, at this end, we've got the little spots or reading lights. Reading lights, yeah. So we've got the one there yeah. on an evening, and then we have the, uh, the other one here. So that creates 
the lighting that we have in in the inside of the cab and then yeah. through this door through the grey door <laughs> is the our, pierce de la resistance our bathroom area which uh, it's a bit cramped but I'll open these up so yeah open your back doors up Graham yeah, oh, yeah. you've got to have your back doors up oops I'm glad I caught that on camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it won't yeah. get edited out. No, and normally they're kept in there, but I just shoved them around there, haven't I? So that's basically, it's only a little tiny garage. We've got the storage in there and down the side of there. And then this is the gas cupboard. Mm -hmm. It's all sealed all the way around strapped in place and this sealant there and it's got a drop yep. out vent in the bottom yep, as well yep. and then we just have a little shoe cupboard drawer there mm -hmm. and then above that we have the wardrobes so we just have the two his and hers but as you say it gets you bits and bobs in that you need for when yep. you're away and then on this side we've got our other sink so that you've got your sink obviously in there for your cooking and stuff then this is just if you're coming here to get washed or you're being to the toilet you got a little sink there and got the shower tray in place mm -hmm. and the shower curtain and then that comes round and this is the shower we haven't actually ever tried this yet but you fill it half with hot water and half with standard pump it up and then just lift the porty loo out and you can have a shower in there Brilliant. So that's about that. And how long has it taken you to build this van, Graham? <laughs> <laughs> I, I do, rec I do uh, recall being promised a uh, yeah, van uh, tour yeah, at the it's it's Boondockers been, Bash. Yes, yeah, so it's been, been, been a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and as you say, this is uh, the heart of the van, I suppose. Just move all these. But you know how you realise when you start building something, although I have been building this forever and a day, yeah. Yeah, is that the cushion lifts up and then I'll get this out of the way so what I'm thinking of doing is because you've got to do all that to get at that is I'm, I'm not thinking of splitting this right so that the lift up separate yeah because that lifts up like that which exposes the uh, the heart of the van so we've got 250 watt um, lead acid batteries um, just a small inverter. It's a. Uh, Is that pure sine wave? Yeah, pure sine wave yep. inverter. Then obviously our wiring up there, your isolation switch, and then this is for me. Uh, oh, what do you call it when you're driving it? It charges your battery. Split charger. That's it. Got one of them there, but it had to be this special one uh, with it being a sprinter. So if anybody's after one, I've got one of these old ones now, spare. Funnily enough, we had one of them. Right. And then Kirsty fried it with a tin of rice pudding. All right, well, if you need that, you know it. No, we've got another one. All right. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we'll buy one. All right. <laughs> so that's that. And, and I have labelled them all as right. to what they go through to. And then in here is your 240. Yeah. Although we don't really use the 240, but it's there if we need to. Yeah. yeah. If we're coming away for a weekend, sometimes I'll stick the 240 on. Yeah. Because it's rigged directly to a battery charger. Yeah. And that charges up the batteries. And it also gets your fridge running because the fridge, although it's a 12 volt compressor, it only uses a small amount. Where target, it's running. What's the target board for? Oh, the target board's for a little cross, um, a crossbow I've got. All right. Yes. You've not seen my bow, have you? No. I'll have to have a look. I'll have to no, show you is, the next time. This is just a, a mantis thing I've got. But uh, yeah, so that's what that's for. But that's why I'm on about separating these so that you can get into them yeah. individually. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. And uh, that's about it. And it's been a long time coming. <laughs> <laughs> but we got Ginger's there in the end. Now. <laughs> yeah. Well, you've done an absolute fantastic job on it, that. Absolutely. When it gets finished. <laughs> it's brilliant. Have you just wax oiled everything or is it varnished or? It's uh, Osmo oiled. Right. All the wood's been Osmo oiled. And it's had at least three quarts of Osmo oil, all of it, you know, so. And of course, at your age, your wood definitely needs oil, oh, yes. doesn't it? You definitely need to oil things when you get to my age. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's brilliant.
brilliant. And you're not full time yet? No, not yet, no. But uh, there's still a bit to do. Got us still working on this door here because you know when we went to your your um, leaving do when mm -hmm. you were going to come out and it was the first time we'd ever used the van and we'd shut this door and locked the van and when we came back couldn't open this door so we came in through the back door and when you put your hand into here you can feel a, a wire which mm -hmm. runs the mechanism yeah. I just pushed that and it opened so since then we've had that sorted new cable input in but because of that I wanted to make sure I could always get at it because if yeah. you're away you don't have to be messing yeah. around and because of where the seating is when you try and pull the drawer across it's a bit awkward so what we tend to do is just use them mm -hmm. to pull the door across but at the same time we've got a bit of storage in there so thank you very much for coming <laughs> <laughs> come on then you and you've got a Chinese diesel here in no, no. No, no heater? Yeah. Yeah, plain R. Plain R? It's a plain R1, plain R diesel heater, which feeds through here, mm -hmm. just the one vent. There's your controls for it. Right. Uh, and the, the, the heater itself is situated under the passenger seat. Right. And it's filtered straight into your main diesel tank, so. Right. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> cool. I love the pretty curtains. Yeah. Well, it's all meant to be reference from budgies because that's how this came about. I love tits. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's one there. <laughs> oh no, that's a chaff inch. That one had me, that one. <laughs> and there's a bullfinch. We well, always need a pair of them. And, and a wren and a robin <laughs> and a gold cap. See, I know my birds. Oh yes. <laughs> and a green finch. I'm not sure what that is. But yeah. <laughs> Lovely. I love the little window that you've got in there. Oh, escape hatch? Yeah. Yeah, that's Bob on that is. Well, that drops down. If I can show you. Blackout. So it blacks out, but it also makes it look like a bulkhead. Yeah, because it's the same colour. Yeah. Carp um, carpet on there that's on the back, so that gives you your privacy and at the same time if you're away from the van it just looks more like standard cap. Yep. <laughs> but it's not usually as messy as this honestly. <laughs> That's because I never use it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's Woolly Cod Wanderers. Thank you very much. Make sure you give them a like, a subscribe and a share and a all the rest of it, head over to their really channel, give them a big thumbs up. They're awesome guys. Yeah. Really. And bye for now. <laughs> <laughs> bye guys. <laughs> About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know.